Welcome back to Radio Free QuickBooks Television. Thanks so much for uh, watching these episodes here through Intuit Academy. I hope you guys are find, finding some value out of them and really enjoying it. I'll be your host for this session, uh, Woody Adams. I'm a product specialist with Intuit, dealing mostly with QuickBooks, QuickBooks-related issues. And we've had Radio Free QuickBooks for a couple years on the radio, so uh, I have to bring in co-founders, co-host Stacey Kildall, Don Brillen, both wearing some type of sweater, which I'll explain. Stacey, how are you doing today? I am fabulous, as always. How are you? How are you doing? Doing great. Yeah. Doing great holiday season, so we have Ralphie here. Nice. And, and of course, uh, <laughs> that my mom's going to be watching this. Really, we, we did no, but we have uh, you know Saint Nick yeah. here. Yeah. So doing well. Yeah. A little freaked good. out, but it's good. He's much taller than I am. Right. Don, mm. how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah. So today, um, today's been great. It's been a great. It's a great holiday time season and all. And I'm sparkly. Yeah. Stacy's right. furry. It's right. really super soft. Her but it's warm because really even in Texas we get some cold. Yeah. Cold, so yeah. I'm coming in from the hotel and stuff. Because right. we are actually at, and I was remiss to say, Dan Lowe would want me to say, Studio X27. Oh. This is Building 3, right. Intuit Headquarters, they Plato, Texas. They switch around to letters right. then numbers. Right. Several studios it's here, so many, yeah. radio stuff, TV. But thanks, you guys, for coming out, of course, joining me. This I do fun. want to make sure that the audience does know, the viewers do know, that uh, this time, uh, I want to make sure, again, I'm, it's all about clarifying confusion, because, you know, when sometimes we're on yeah, the show, yeah. no, you're right. you know, you think, oh, hey, that she's isn't that so-and-so from such-and-such, or whatever, or I've seen her here Someone or there. from somewhere. And from this situation, so for this particular episode, I am definitely not the next CHOP champion. So for those of you, again, <laughs> on the Food Network, I was not the Iron Chef in a previous right. uh, episode, but this time, right. not CHOP champion. Uh, it's really too much pressure. Almost third baseman from a league of their own. That's really yeah, close. Yeah, I could have been. A go right. There's a couple of them. You know, I could. I, right. It's, it's right. easy to, to, to see. I'm one of those familiar faces. Yeah. So anyway, just like to clear that up. So today's the episode today is on social mobile, uh, and the different things you can do as an accountant to reach your clients, be more engaging, etc. And Stacey's going to have a big role here because that's how she really launched Radio Free QuickBooks, but got some key advice from Stephanie Morris. Who we're going to bring in now, Stephanie. Thanks so much for coming on ours TV. Thanks for having me. And with acronyms here, I call her Stephmo of the SOMO. So So mobile, right? Yes. So um, can you kind of explain your history with Intuit? Because I don't think you haven't been on a radio show yet, right? No, we haven't no, had you on the radio. Okay, so we'd it's love horrible. to have the audience know a little yeah. more about you, then we'll go into the topic. Yeah, so, uh, and I know Stacy and Don already know this. I'm on the uh, social mobile marketing team for APD. Um, when I started at Intuit, I was part of the training organization, so I know some people may have uh, talked to me through webinars or virtual mm -hmm. conferences, and we did used to have um, a podcast series before mm -hmm. Radio Free uh, QuickBooks came around, so, you know, that was kind of the precursor to what you guys are doing now. And I yeah, want to mention that, that uh, this is kind of a historic this is pretty show. historic. <laughs> it actually is. This is the group that started uh, Radio Free QuickBooks. We were all about two and a half years ago, two years ago, we were on uh, a WebEx a call about doing a webinar, just a Q&A, right? Mm -hmm. Ask the expert yeah. right. uh, webinar. And Woody said, you know what would be really cool is if we did a like, radio show, kind of like the car guys on NPR, only we just talked about QuickBooks. Yeah. And we flipped out. Dawn and I flipped out. It was yeah. a brilliant idea. And Stephanie said, hey, there's this website called Blog Talk Radio yeah. uh, sure. that you can do that with. And it's her within, fault. Yeah. yeah. It's all it her small. fault. Yeah, exactly. And trainer writer. And tr yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. She brought us here for Ex trainer writer. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, sure. yeah. Yes. and thank you for that then, Stephanie. Yeah. And you're kind of a kingpin behind, uh, and Dan Lowell, of course, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> and Dan is actually a uh, reason for the actual props. You yeah. guys can just get a little uh, taste of yeah, this. Sorry, what? Mom. Okay. <laughs> but let's, let's talk about social mobile because it's near and dear to Stacy's heart. Dawn does a lot of herself. She has invested in her website. We've invested in her RFQ website. But 
kind of how does social mobile play with Intuit success? And then maybe we could go into for the accountants and best practice tips. Yeah, so you know, it, it is actually a, it's a it's a big strategic plan for Intuit as a whole. Uh, a lot of the brands uh, you'll see regarding, I mean, from the accounting side to the customer side, all have uh, social presences, and it's a uh, it's big when we look at like um you can get support through our Intuit right. site. So you know if you're um, joined into a community, for example, you have that. Yeah. We also have a Twitter channel, so you can talk to us directly. There's Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and the Instagram channel. So oh, this is a nice. inside inside awesome. Intuit accountant. So you can kind of get a, a, a peek behind what's going oh. on uh, with. Corporate. Uh, one of the big strategic moves for the uh, social for Intuit, it's it's really around personalizing and humanizing the brand. I know mm. it's real tough sometimes. You talk about these big brands and it's it's a big corporate wall, and you're not actually uh, able to talk to the people who make stuff happen. So like your brand right, right. managers, the people who are actually building the products. You know, yeah. Woody and I. This is a great example. So uh, what is really cool about social is that now the, these barriers are gone. So yeah, you can true. actually talk directly to the people who are making changes in the product or you need a support question, you have an issue, or just to tell us that, hey, you're doing a good job. It was right, really great right. to see you at, you know, whatever conference, um, you know, so like we do, like with the marketing team, we travel to some of the conferences. And so it's, it's a really great opportunity for us to be able to talk to our customers and in right. return have that relationship. And I, I definitely want Stephanie to weigh in and even demo some of the uh, best practices for an accountant reaching you know, uh, yeah. their clients, but stay, so Stacy, you've done a lot with this. Can you weigh in on the Yeah, so that's aspect? pretty much how we got the word out about the show is after we hung up the phone, Woody and I had a webinar to do, mm -hmm. I can't remember what's what we were doing. What's new 2012? Yeah, we, yeah, it was a what's new uh, <laughs> webinar. So we had two hours between the phone call and the webinar, and within that two hours, I had the email address set up, we had the Twitter uh, page set up, uh, we had figured out, we had the Blog Talk Radio account, and we immediately started posting on Twitter and on Facebook that we were doing this and this is when it was going to happen. So, and we have done pretty much all of our promotion through social media. I don't think it's a we necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's, she's kind. She's being kind, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, we as a group, so as a family, use, yeah. Sure. And we set up our the website. I built the horrible for those of you who have been following us since the beginning that the website was really horrible. It was really kind of a angel fire circa 1989 <laughs> sort of website. Nice. It looked like maybe a 10th grade project. Uh, but I did it all by myself and, and I'm, cool. not a, I'm not a webmaster. I, I'm a QuickBooks nerd. So I was pretty proud of myself. You're pretty for doing amazing. That. I, I think was pretty you're pretty proud amazing. Of myself for doing that personally. <laughs> we have a much better site now. Um, but and yeah. so we used uh, one of the ways that we did that was we used um, Tumblr because I can post. A, 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 I can create a Tumblr blog, and I can post there, and it will hit Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So I'm hitting four places with right. just one post and getting the word out for everything. So, and you guys have been really great in helping us, yeah. you know, the retweets and, and yeah. sharing our, our links and stuff on Facebook. So, so. Steph, Mo, for like an accounting or firm trying to do what we're doing or get their site out and things like that, what, what would you, sorry. I love, that, I, love Steph, I love it. I love it. I love it. What, what, My what, would, <laughs> what would you suggest for actual uh, social engines that someone would actually be not overwhelmed or intimidated to go and try and get themselves out there socially? Yeah, so there's, I mean, so kind of like I mentioned earlier, we have like the arsenal of social channels. You mm. can have a Twitter feed, you can have right. a Facebook page, you can have a profile on LinkedIn, you can have boards on Pinterest, you can post photos on Instagram, and there's probably even more that I'm not even including. So there are a ton of these social channels mm. out there. And there's different ways you can approach it. You can either kind of dedicate yourself to one. So like, um, I'm, I'm a big Facebook user. I really right. like Facebook. Yeah. So I'm in it all the time. Um, but I also have connected my accounts. So like, I also have a Twitter feed, so you can ping me at Steph at Intuit. You can send me a direct message or anything like that, and it connects to my Facebook account. Oh, my LinkedIn account is also connected. That's yeah, cool. so one of the cool things that Facebook has done, which is probably why I have personally, this is just me, right. invested so much time into Facebook is because they have uh, Facebook Connect, and a lot of sites, you'll see this, that they're now allowing you to log in with your Facebook okay. account, yeah. yep. and then because of that, you can share across multiple sites. Nice. If you're looking at, um, trying to grow your professional network, LinkedIn is a really great tool for that. Yeah. We already know that a lot of accounting professionals are on LinkedIn. Um, 
Michelle Long's group, for example, right. I think has like 20,000 members or something crazy like that. But it's awesome. And right. it's 20,000 people. That, yeah, all have the same. There's something that connects them. Right. And be it, like in this case, I think they're all uh, pro advisors or QuickBooks users. So that that is a, you know, there's all like minds. And so you can have yeah. conversations on the subjects that you want. Um, uh, Twitter, for example, it allows you to use hashtags so you can filter. Oh, yeah, a hashtag right. is the pound sign that right. you see like on your phone. Yep. Um, hashtag with a word after it, so like hashtag into an accountant's cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that. Right, right. Um, Absolutely. But then it gives you an opportunity to follow those conversations. And then if you don't want to just link all your accounts together, there are tools like Hootsuite, which is a personal favorite. Mm -hmm. I've been using it for years. It is free. You can have five social accounts on that. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, it allows you to manage your social networks from one place. And you can pick and choose where you post and publish to. Can we do for the audience just a quick demo of, uh, I guess you were talking about the Hootsuite yeah, or something yeah. like that. That would be great. So um, in my Hootsuite profile, I do manage the, a lot of the APD, social profiles, yeah. the accounting professionals division social profiles. So I have LinkedIn, Facebook, and um, Twitter, and then there's different pages, so there's different groups that I'm part of and stuff like that. So mine is So a, you're like a, Oz. Uh, you're behind the curtain. <laughs> I am behind right. the curtain, yes. I love Oz. that. Oh gotcha. my goodness, yes. Um, I, that is the first time I've heard that right. one. I'm a little speechless, so I'm, uh, you do throw me off there for a second. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so uh, but what you can see from here is that um, right now I'm showing our Twitter feed, and I've created these things called streams, so I can follow every time that we're mentioned or somebody sent us a direct message also what the tweets are that we sent out so I can see if they've been retweeted and um, the reason nice. that's important is uh, if you're providing valuable content and somebody likes it they'll retweet it for right you. yeah right. So absolutely it, right right yeah it kind of feeds on itself yeah it yeah. feeds on itself it helps us understand as well if um, we're providing the right kind of content because right. the right. for us the objective is is really being able to provide valuable content for our right. customers which is really good and that for pro advisors they can do the same thing I mean for accounting right. professionals, they can take right. just a page Absolutely. out of that book and do the same thing for their to grow their practice. To grow their practice, yeah. Right. So, oh. I mean, and mm -hmm. for accounting professionals, if you are wanting to grow your practice or even just build a base, um, you maybe you're an expert in a particular area of QuickBooks and and you. Um, you find value in sharing that knowledge with other people, you can have this. You can just create your own content. Right, right. And when we say content, it's everything from a, a simple post, like, yeah. hey, did you know that there's changes to X, Y, Z, whatever it be, or, or you could, have a blog where you post articles. You could have a radio show at right. Johnson Two wow. TV show. Sure. <laughs> um, so you can do all that. And so content is it's a yeah. variety of stuff. And then um, what it does is it enables you to also have um, dialogue with your customers. Yeah. So it's about building those relationships. And since we're also now in this this uh, very mobile world, it's very cloud based. Yeah. Uh, I know one of the concerns a lot of people have is, well, I want to see people. I want to talk to people. I want right, to be physically right. in a room with them. Yeah. Um, one of the best things about social networking and having all these tools at our fingertips is actually now we don't have to worry about where we are in the world. Right. We can have those relationships with our customers regardless of where they're located. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's just, I mean, so... RF, and I love the new site too. So RFQ, and I didn't know that Stephanie was like a part of the wizard oh, yeah. behind RFQ. <laughs> Critical. Like that's that's Critical. amazing. To me. That's why we met. Yeah, that's that's how... like step one. It's like you know. Yeah. <laughs> you right, get people together. Uh, yeah, getting people together. I was exactly. gonna say something else. And I'm, I'm probably of the four of us. I'm probably the the lowest as far as social mobile. I mean, Ray, my seven year old, will give me tips and things like yeah. that. And, yeah, and, like and help nearly you Isaac, your phone. who's almost four, yeah. but not yet. But Ray help for you. sure. Yeah, with your phone. No, you need to plug in the headset, Dad. Yeah. Right. That's why they can't hear me. Right. But Don, so your your website though too is you've you've uh, invested in so I just have to say Pocket. That's Pocket, all I can yeah, say. Pocket, Pocket with a P. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Jen Pocket is is the mastermind behind that. And yeah. It's not me. Yeah. But I know I need it. Right. I know I need to have that Facebook, the Twitter, the yeah. LinkedIn. You got to have those buttons on the site. So you got to get on Google board. Yeah. You got to get on board. Yeah. Right. So I I decide to invest in it and right. get someone else to have someone else do it because. It's not my specialty. Right. Just like I expect my clients to hire an accountant and not become one. Exactly. And, and like Stephanie, so you're saying yeah. pick just a couple, three. Pick yeah. the cool ones. Hopefully yeah. you guys have heard some, some of the good best practices and then just kind of roll on for there. Um, anything else you guys want to mention regarding social mobile or... Um, you can think of uh, tips tricks yeah I guess so if you do decide to go into social space you mm -hmm. can't just let it die so it, it yeah. does require some investment and that is to your point you can hire somebody you can do it yourself um, 
but you want to also brand it. So you want to make sure that your company logo, if you're doing that's it as so part important. of your company. Oh, yes. Yes. Branding. You know what, thing, that's such a huge yes. thing. And you're I, absolutely right. I want to mention too is don't it, it shouldn't all just be sell, 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 hire me, hire me, hire me. Right, right. You yes. have to right. really engage. You have to throw some personal things some in there once in a while. Articles, some articles, uh, like some that. articles, personal, yeah. some funny yeah. things that you just see online. You have to really change it up. You Human. can't just make it just, yeah. hey, hire yeah. me to do this. This is all Bring the time, the human art that's the first yeah. thing that people are going to do is just yes. unfollow you, unfriend you. They're yes. going right. to be done. Yeah. yeah. So, just I mean, I think that. that's 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 the key. It exactly. is uh, social it networks are are people driven. Yeah. And right. so it's it's not about the business; it's about who you are. Sorry, <laughs> this was the cue. <laughs> we're getting into fifteen I love minutes. It. <laughs> but no, we just want to thank all you guys for uh, watching. Stephanie Morris, thanks so much for coming on Talk no, Social Network. It's been a, bla here. a blast. <laughs> Stacey Don, we're going to hold the shot. We do it at the end of every show. So three, two, one, hold the shot, Santa. <laughs> you too. Stop, please. Thanks for watching this episode of RFQ TV. For more episodes of RFQ TV, you can check out IntuitAcademy.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and if you'd like to continue the discussions, you can find us on LinkedIn.